So what the procedure, the newer procedure that I want to tell you about that we've been doing for a few years and it's been studied now is called the convergent or hybrid ablation. And the thing about this procedure, it combines both a catheter ablation and a surgical ablation, both on the inside and the outside of the heart. So once we do both surfaces, our impression is, but that's why the study, is that this is a more comprehensive procedure and it involves both the electrophysiologist, so I'm a cardiologist subspecialized and trained in cardiac electrophysiology and the catheter procedures. And to do this procedure, I work with a surgeon who trained as a surgeon subspecialized in cardiac surgery and then in the arrhythmia surgery. So let's see if this is a video, a cartoon video of how this procedure works. So the surgeon starts, and this is he passes a scope up under the xiphoid prosser sternum to the heart. And this is the view he gets of the back of the left atrium, and that's what the four pulmonary veins look like coming in. And this is his catheter. He's delivering ablation lesions by heating the tissue on the back of the heart. So this is the left atrium, and this is, these are the four pulmonary veins. And this is a better graph because these are a better picture because these are big structures like this. And it turns out that they harbor most of the abnormal electrical activity that causes atrial fibrillation. And to electrically isolate them, we need to put scars around where they join the atrium. Now, this does not impede their function as blood flow tubes, uh, but it will impede electrical activity. Electrical activity cannot pass through a scar. So once we produce these scars on the surgical approach, and again, our surgeon, currently Dr. Bundy, is working through a scope to create these series of ablation lines. And now Dr. Bundy finishes his procedure, and I or one of my colleagues pass a catheter through the veins up inside the heart, inside the left atrium, and this is the inside view. And you can see that there are areas that he cannot get to with that approach and that we can complete. So at the end, we've encircled where the four veins come into the left atrium and the posterior left atrial wall of the heart. And that has been found to be needed to stop persistent atrial fibrillation. And in our hands, the results of this procedure have been good and very encouraging, enough to encourage a, a, a major national trial of the procedure. So that procedure is carried out with somebody under general anesthetic. It's a two-team approach. The surgeon do their part on the outside. We do our part on the inside. Um, and uh, then uh, there's a recovery period, obviously, from this procedure. And that is called the convergent or hybrid ablation procedure.